you have an apprenticeship? Yeah, I did. I studied under uh, Justin Pitsley. He goes by a junior. He's out in uh, Vegas now. How was your apprenticeship? Uh, so it was uh, in the late 90s, so things were a lot different than they are now. And it was literally a, a bitch work apprenticeship. Like you just you earn your place, you know. I scrubbed tubes for like seven artists. I worked in like the street shop that was just wild with bikers and, you know, all that shit in the early days. It was, uh, it was a ride, you know, those first, those first years, like technically, man, I didn't learn shit. You know, I, I had some friends around me and we were, we were doing tattoos, tattoos. <laughs> you know, I look back on it now and I was like, man, it was some rough days, but, uh, you know, over time, take it serious, put in work, it gets better. <laughs> Any tattooers that you would want to collaborate with? Oh man, like did, I, I'd like. To, there's a lot of people I'd like to, to collaborate with. I mean, I, I always like to to try to put in a little time working with other people because there's always something that you can pick up and take away from them, you know. And maybe there's something that you can share with them as well, you know. And I always think that's kind of cool. Like I would definitely, you know, obviously like somebody like Timmy or Lindsay or any of the other like big, big new school names. I mean, they're all down the road from me. So, I mean, it's not even like out of the realm of possibility. It's like literally Timmy's my fucking neighbor. Good dude. Don't get me wrong, but it's, you know what I mean, man, you got a big dog sitting next door. It can be, you got to step it up a little bit, but, uh, Jacob Webb out West, like, I think he's in like Wisconsin or something. He doesn't have like a big social media presence, but yo, this kid is killing it, man. He's just doing some rad, rad uh, stuff. Really cool. Is there something you'd like to tattoo, but no one ever asks you for? I have a running joke where like, I would do this for free. A flying bag of dicks. Like anybody wants it, I'll do it for free. I'm talking like full on paper bag, head sticking out the top and the little fucking wings. And anybody wants it, man, hit me up. It's free. <laughs> What's the best or worst thing a client can ask you? Um, well, I, I, have a, I have a policy where I won't do any religious tattoos. Like I just, I, I refuse to get down with tags. I feel like if you're going to do one, one symbol of this group of people, you got to do all of them. So I don't do fucking any of them. No racist tattoos, no religious tattoos. So that's the worst case scenario for me. Like that would be somebody walking, go, I want a swastika. come. You're like, go fuck yourself. You know, um, best case. Like I, I have the best case scenarios very regularly. And that's somebody that comes in and wants cartoon character. And I don't really give a shit like what it is. It could be Beetlejuice. It could be, Care Bears, like, I don't care, man. I just want to draw cartoons, <laughs> you know? And uh, I'm pretty fortunate. Like, everybody that comes to me looking for that stuff, like, they know that I'm not just going to rip something. It's going to be something that's drawn just for them, you know? So it's, it's fun. It's cool. I get a lot of freedom when I work with those people. They're like, I like this character. I'm like, cool, we're going to do this. Are you involved in other art forms besides tattooing? Um, no. Nah. Not really. I mean, I paint a little bit, not too, not as often as I should. Um, I like to just draw a pencil. So I did, everything that I do create has the potential to be a tattoo, but it's not necessarily created with the purpose of being a tattoo. So, you know, there's plenty of stuff that i like just get to use. It may get refined into other sorts of merch and stuff, but I don't really stray outside of this industry as far as art goes. If you could get a tattoo from any artist, who would it be? Oh, I already have it. I already have it. <laughs> I had Guy Aitchison do my entire chest. Like, I have a big, huge bio piece from Guy. So then that was dropped in front of me. I had 48 hours notice to uh, get to Illinois. They were like, we, there's a cancellation, and, you know, we have to fill it because we put this deposit. So can you get to Illinois in the next 48 hours? And I jumped on a plane and went out and hung out with Guy and then drove two of his paintings back in a U-Haul. It was a pretty cool trip. Any advice for people looking to become tattooers? Yeah, don't. And it's not like an ego thing, and it's not being a gatekeeper. It's just a lot of the people that I see trying to get into it now aren't committed to the art. They're not committed to learning. Um you know, if, if you're serious, you know, put up with the bullshit, get yourself a good apprenticeship. If I see you as an apprentice, then I will support you hundred percent because you're there and you're making the effort and you're trying to learn and you're put, you're doing your work, man. I got your back. 
but all these people that want to come in and kick tires and talk about how they're this artist and they want to be a tattooer and there's all this money. Like as soon as I hear that shit, I'm like, get the fuck out the door. Like, I don't want to hear it, you know, but if you're serious and you got like, and you're a dedicated, committed artist and you want to learn and you're willing to put in the work and you're willing to sacrifice, like, okay, cool. I got your back. You know, I'll, I'll never take on another apprentice. I already did one. I did my part, but if you're putting in the work, like I'll help you open doors kind of thing. You know what I mean? 